get into it? Like, would you say that because you it, from the story that you told so far, it sounds like it's from the womb. <laughs> like <laughs> you came out like, yes, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, yes. Environment, a lot of pushes, and I feel like. Neo Soul is my home. R and B, yes, uh, but Neo Soul is my home. Everything yes. about it. Yeah. Yes, I get that vibe for sure from 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 the song So Deep for sure. That that's what's up. That was a beautiful story, though. I didn't know like you you had it like right. I didn't know your parents already was rocking to Neo Soul. I didn't know how I guess gifted you were at such a young age. Yeah, it's just, if anything, Mr. President's favorite quote to say, education-wise in the school district, Cuba's like, this is the gem of Rockland County right here. I actually had it on recording, my last talent show that I was with him. He said, y'all need to remember this name. It was when mm. I was 12 years old. I'm not thinking about anything. You just know you got to sing this song. Your parents is there. Exactly. Yeah. You know, everybody's crying and crying. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe you. Like, whatever. And it's a thing yeah, yeah. now. At this point, I'm like, Wow. I guess the, it really was a thing. Like that's truly growing into purpose. A sweater I didn't know that I was going to wear for a while, but definitely, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, like they always say, hindsight is twenty twenty. So yes. to see that now where you are, I mean, to see the, that back, see how you were back then, now you're like, wow, I really probably didn't really appreciate what they were saying at that moment. But hey, I noticed now. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. So how long have you been writing? Because you said you've been singing since so <laughs> how long have you been writing so i've been writing for a long time i like to say like every little kid likes to make up songs and rhyme yeah. and then of course once i got to like middle school i said why don't i write it down i went through a really brief period of just being super duper sad and i got recommendations from friends and teachers like why don't you write mm -hmm. and so part of it was just poetry and then okay. once I got to at least, I was 16, 17, I said, you know what? I want to take it to the next level. I want to try to see what are people in the industry doing? Mind you, not even thinking about the larger scope of how like big that is. Mm -hmm. I searched up online back when course era, nobody knew about it. And they were just handing out certificates for $25. I took um, an undergraduate course with Berkeley College of Music that they offered through Berkeley. Okay. Um, and I did this songwriting class that flipped my world upside down. And ever since then, I'm 23 now. I've just been writing. I joined a, a poetry collective at SUNY New Paul. It's called Urban Lyrics. And mm -hmm. I met a lot of dope rappers and spoken word poets. I was okay. one of the few singers. Club has been around for a long time. I was one of maybe like five, six singers that they had. Okay. And so what made it special was that you mainly had to do poetry. You couldn't be up in there talking about, yeah, I sing. Like, okay, what else? Like, we here for the words. So it kind you. of made me work on being definitely a wordsmith and reading up on way more Black poets. Like, I got into Sonny Sanchez, Nikki mm. Dupani. Um, I was reading way more Maya Angelou. I was reading Audre Lorde. Yes, trying yes. to understand these women, Black women, especially from uh, the Black arts movement, understanding yes. what they stood for and how that played into, like, rhythm and melody and even listening to Sonia Sanchez when she's reciting poetry they have like an album on Spotify you mm -hmm. can tell that it's rhythmic if you yep. wanted to turn that into a song you definitely you could. could so yep. yeah 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 definitely kicking kicking it with a bunch of poets you learn a couple things or two so that's facts and that's facts I see when I heard you mention poetry but I didn't know you went that deep into into poetry so it, it's it explains a lot it explains <laughs> a lot Wow. Wow. I'm so glad that you came on here. So <laughs> for Do you remember the first song you ever wrote? Ooh. All right. That <laughs> I showed everybody. I was actually in elementary school again. Really? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. How old were you? I was, I was in the sixth grade. I was 12. I was 12. It was a full song. I even wrote, it's, cra it's crazy. I wrote, they had a contest at the school. They wanted to make an anthem or a theme song for the elementary yeah. school. And I was like, Okay, bet I could do that. And I had the melody. We didn't have no backing tracks. It was just all acapella. But I had my cousin and my friend LB at the time, William. And so I wrote the chorus. I wrote the verses. I even wrote part of his rap. And he wrote his rap for the outro. But yeah, I remember the hook and everything. But yep, I sat there, wrote a whole song. Again, not understanding the well behind it. But yes, 12 years old, writing a whole. And mind you, the, the elementary school, they actually liked it. The kids bumped it. The teachers bumped it. It was pretty cool. That's crazy. That is so awesome. 
at 12. That's amazing to me. Like, I, was, I, I didn't expect it to be at 12. I was thinking you were going to say 16, 15. Yeah, that's usually, you said, nah, 12 years old. I, I put a whole thing together, you know. I, I even ghost wrote for somebody, you know. It's all right. Nothing crazy. I did that at 12. <laughs> Like that, that's so amazing to me. We're gonna we're gonna get off of you for a minute, just real quick. I want to know. I want to pick your brain, real mm-hmm. quick. Who are your top five favorite artists all time? Ooh, all time. Oh my. Yes. Okay. Um. Yes, because you're in tune. Like you're really in tune with music. So I have to go all time with you. I have Ooh, to. All time. Wow. Um. Oof. Okay, well, one person who showed me that you could really do it all as an MC, as a guitarist, and as a singer, definitely Lauren Hill, by mm-hmm. far. Mm-hmm. Also, mm-hmm. what she stood for, even aesthetic-wise, kept it a buck, kept it 100 yeah. since yes. the beginning. Yes. Lauren Hill, definitely. Um, I, who child, 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 child. Oh, man, that's hard. Mary J. Blige, big, mm-hmm. big. Big. my sister put me on the Mary J. Blige girl. Shout out to your sister. Right? Like, <laughs> again, in the fourth grade pulling up, talking about, I'm going to sing Be Without You by Mary J. Blige. Yes. What Shout out to your sister. Know? Heavy <laughs> influence. That's what's up. Shout out to your sister. Yes. The, <laughs> the honesty, the rawness of her voice forever mm-hmm. inspiring, no matter how old I get. Like, yeah. just real. Um, Wow. And then... I'm gonna have to say Jill Scott, like just oh, the yeah. just so sultry, so soulful, and very okay. much could do what you want, and very very carefree, very very like yes. carefree for what she does. She dips her toe in it all, and she leaves and everything, including India Ari as well. Very much like if I'm gonna pour into you, I'm gonna pour some light, and that's yes. what I'm here for. So yeah. Ooh, that was four. Yeah, yeah. Now, if we want to bring up the men, because it gets different, because like that's why I'm like you said all the time. I'm we, we mixing up decades, everything. Now, we definitely would have to add Marvin Gaye in there. The What's Going On album Ooh, completely changed my life. I yo, that's my school. like all time favorite. Yeah, no, it changed my life. Uh, the Donny Hathaway and Roberta Flack album changed my life. Um, you are my love, on oh my heaven. That woo changed, changed everything. Changed yes, everything. I remember when I first heard Marvin. I was like, "Yo, who is that?" Like yes. his voice was just what. Yeah, I'm like, who is this man? I was like, "Yo, I've who never is? heard anything like this before. Who is this?" And oh my gosh, like you're you're taking me back now. Like, oh my god, I'm glad I asked you that question. <laughs> but now, now we're gonna go back. 